day two of the Jeep rebuild. What? And we just find out something new. DVD, you can watch movies uh, while you're camping pretty in cool. the Jeep. Pretty dang cool. I thought it was, he thought it was like a special hiding compartment where you hide your Glock or something, but clearly a Glock wouldn't even fit in there. But look, we can watch movies. DVD, that's pretty sweet. I wonder if it's Blu-ray. <laughs> Pop a Blu-ray in there. Alrighty guys, so what we're going to be doing is pretty much just removing this rear axle here. We're going to put it up on some jack stands. We're going to take out this rear axle. So we're pretty much going to set the frame up on two jack stands and leave this rear axle suspended so we can start taking it off. What is up? Is that what we found? <laughs> That's the giveaway right there guys if you want it. Ow! Uh, we're gonna. I, I'm gonna decide who I want to give that away because people have been asking about that. All righty, guys. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna first take off that drive shaft, shocks, and control arms, pretty much. Okay, so we dropped this axle. So pretty much we un we unbolted the control arms. Uh, make sure you undo the for the Rubicons. You got to do the axle switch, and then track bar what else uh, we got these sensors here for the brakes on either side right there uh, sway bars undo that what else am I missing all right well we got the axle out we got to try to get this bracket straightened out as best as possible We'll try to. If not, we're going to have to cut this bracket off and weld in a new control arm bracket. Now while we're at it, while the axle's out, we're also going to wire wheel it down. And we will be repainting this axle to prevent further rust. So stay tuned for that. Alrighty, so we pop this axle shaft out. Go ahead and handle that. Very carefully. Sucker is bent like crazy. It's bent almost like right here too. Yeah, right it's like right. a slight bend. And then it bends more here. This crab walked this axle from over there because we didn't want the forklift to sink. So we're taking it over there, close to the house. This thing is in the way. We're gonna try to even get closer to the house there, so I'm gonna move this big old thing. It's my first time driving a semi. <laughs> See how it goes. He's in it. You know what you're doing? Yeah, I guess you gotta let it click. This closer. Guys, we found out that this carrier for the bearing is damaged, it has some scarring and indentions, imperfections. That's really not good. So, we're gonna try to pull it out with the puller. With the apparatus. We are 
are going to attempt to heat this up and get this bracket out. Uh, if that don't work, we will be cutting one off and welding a new one. Alrighty guys, as straight as possible. Uh, we think this is gonna work, so this is the other side. Pretty close. Uh, we're probably gonna go adjustable control arms anyway, so that shouldn't affect our alignment. So there you have it. Alrighty guys, you're wondering why the heck I'm wearing this, but I'm gonna be wire wheeling this axle here. We're gonna make it look brand new and shiny. So let's have at it. So far so good guys, we're making a little bit of progress, but hey. what's going on? Check this out. What is that? What? I don't know. It looks like a... Is that a block heater or something? I don't know. That's what it looks like. I can't really tell where it goes. I mean, it's going like to the block. That is legit. Looks like it came from the north if it has this. For sure. Because not all of them have this. I don't think. I've never seen something like this. Where, where does it lead? It says Canada on this outlet. Canadian Jeep. Made in Canada. Legit. I guess that's the Rubicons or something. I don't know. Right here it says something oil. PYR oil. I guess it heats the oil up or something. So Yeah, this Jeep is definitely for, from up north. Now we just took this uh, one of the lower control arms off and you can just tell what kind of hit it took. And just stretched it, turned this circle into an oval. And you can see how it cracked Ooh, that. Cracked it. And it's just stretched. It's like when it got hit that way, like we can we know which way it got hit now. It got hit in the front of the wheel, pushed it back, and that's what did the damage. So now we'll know when we take it to framework, we tell them that it got hit this way. So we'll good, know good which point. way to pull it. Good point there. And good thing we have a uh, parts parts Jeep. We've been dealing with Jeeps for a while now, so we got a parts axle and we got some control arms. Of course, we're gonna build it, probably get adjustables and beefed up that's control arms, but that's later on. We just need to get it to the frame machine. So we just found out that the standard uh, JK rear axle shafts are different than the Rubicon axle shafts. I don't know why somebody told me that they were the same, but apparently not. The diameter is a bit thicker on the uh, Rubicon, so we will be ordering a Rubicon axle shaft, and we're just gonna drop this axle off. So we're gonna go to the neighbor's house to get this uh, bracket welded up. What you doing? This is the welding man, Reuben, the boobin. Show us your skills. This is gonna be seeing rabbits. I would not recommend this to anybody. Definitely get a, get a welding mask. Yeah, it's good. Shoot. My goodness, he's, he's a pro. His daddy's a welder, so he knows what he's done. Save your eyeballs. Alright, now right here. Come on. You see there's a crack right here? Yeah. I think you need to turn up the heat. Turn that. Turn it up. Is that it? guys uh, I guess we're gonna call it a day for today this is day two of the Rubicon build and we ordered an axle shaft for a Rubicon so it was around 200 bucks not too bad 
and we're gonna wait it's gonna come in about a week it's coming from California so we got plenty of other things to do since then uh, what are we gonna work on well we got to work on sanding that axle what how it is to get all the rust off paint, paint, it. paint it up probably do all this frame yeah, just here. get the frame nice and clean and rust free and uh, we're gonna fix the hard top the crack and then we're gonna go with painting this hard top white Make it unique. Yeah, make it. Alrighty guys, that's a wrap. We're gonna clean up all these tools.